Hey friend and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Wendy and I'm with Inspire Ministries and I'm so glad that you have landed on today's video. Today I just want to be short and sweet, but I want to encourage you with something today. I want to encourage the one who feels like you might be fearful. Maybe you are afraid right now. Maybe you are going through something that is really hard, really challenging, and you find yourself in this panic. I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you with something from the scripture. So if you have your Bible, I would love for you to open it up because I want you to see this for yourself. It's Mark 6, and it's the ever familiar story of Jesus walking on the water to rescue his frightened disciples. And we see it kind of play out in the end of Mark 6 in verse 50. And verse 50 says this, they were all terrified, talking about the disciples, they were all terrified when they saw him, meaning Jesus. Jesus spoke at once, and he says, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Take courage. I am here. I want to kind of read this whole text so that you get an idea of kind of what is going on. Again, this is found in Mark 6, and I want to start out by reading in verse 45. I'm going to read all the way to the end of that section, which is 52. It says, Immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and head across the lake to Bethsaida while he sent the people home. After telling everyone goodbye, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. Verse 47, late that night, the disciples were in the boat in the middle of the lake and Jesus was alone on land. He saw that they were in serious trouble, rowing hard and struggling against the wind and the waves. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them walking on the water Scripture says he intended to go past them, verse 49, but when they saw him coming out of the water, they cried out in terror, thinking that he was a ghost. Verse 50, they were all terrified when they saw him, but Jesus spoke again. He said, don't be afraid. Take courage. I am here. Verse 51, then he climbed into the boat and the wind stopped they were totally amazed, for they still didn't understand the significance of the miracle of the loaves. Their hearts were too hard to take it in. I want to focus today on what Jesus says when he says, don't be afraid, take courage, I am here. I experienced a similar kind of thing as these disciples did a few years ago when I had come out of a major abdominal surgery. The pain was more intense than anything that I had ever felt in my life up to that time. And somehow they had gotten behind on my pain medication in recovery. And when they couldn't get it under control, I felt so much fear and panic begin to set in because my pain was worsening by the second. I'd never make it. And it's how I felt. I would never make it. I, I thought for sure, I'm never going to be able to get this under control. I'm going to go on having all of this pain. They're never going to get it right. And I began to feel fear and panic set in. But then, then in the middle of all of this fear and distress, it was as if Christ himself entered that hospital room. And I calmed myself down and I began to whisper over and over again, out loud even, to all of those who were in the room with me, my mom, my dad, and my husband, I began to say the only words that I could muster the strength for in that moment. And that was, I can do hard things. Thank you, Jesus. I can do hard things. In fact, my mama would recall that I kept saying that over and over again because I remembered something that I had on my bulletin board that said I can do hard things. And I kept laser focused on that and thanking Jesus for the ability that I had to do hard things, even though I was feeling my weakest in that moment. Because somewhere in the pain of the situation, I heard the voice of Jesus telling me, like he was telling his disciples, to take courage. I love the message version that simply tells us that Jesus says this, courage, it's me. Ah, yes. Jesus had called the courage out of me. In this moment, me lying in that bed in recovery, Jesus called the courage out of me. He said, courage, it's me. 
And when I got a glimpse of Jesus saying, it's me, I am here, friend, it changed everything. Absolutely everything about my situation changed. You see, we often see bad situations happening in our lives and we get intensely fearful. And yet Jesus says, it's me. It's me. I'm here. I've never left. I've never gone anywhere. It's me. I'm here. We've got to see past our situation to our Savior. And maybe it's saying it out loud on repeat until our heart understands it. I'm not looking at you, problem. I'm not seeing this situation. I am refusing to see the bad of this circumstance. I'm looking for Jesus. I know he's here somewhere. He said he would never leave me. He would never forsake me. He called out the courage in me. He's here in this room. I just need to find out where he's standing. And I find it interesting. I find it so interesting. And this is the way that God speaks to me often through the scriptures. I find this interesting that he spoke, take courage before he even stopped the wind. Look back at that. It says, but Jesus spoke to them at once. And he said, don't be afraid. Take courage. I am here. Then he climbed into the boat and the wind stopped. He did all of this. He spoke all of these words for them to take courage before he stopped the wind because he asks us to be courageous in the battle, not after it's over. He's asking for relationship before remedy and relief. He's asking us, do you trust me? In the storm, with the waves still at, at their highest peak, as the, as the storm is raging in the middle of the battle, do you trust me? Take courage. It's here. It's available. Courage. Come out. It's me. He speaks it before he stops the wind and settles the storm. He asks us to take courage while it's still raging while it's still going on. The disciples' fear, it disappeared when his presence increased and they realized Jesus came to rescue them. He's always rounding the bend to accomplish deliverance for us. It's me, he says. I'm here. I've never left. All you need to do is look at me. All you need to do is appreciate me here in this moment. All you need to do is believe in me. Trust me. I'm here. Courage. Take it. Courage. It's yours. It's me. I'm here. You and I, we are to recognize Christ more vividly in our troubles. Though the storm be ever present, it's by appearance only. No travesty, friend, no travesty, no devastation, no travesty is too big that his mere presence cannot eradicate the pain of it. And so in the storms of life, it will often bring about worry, When his presence doesn't seem apparent, that's when we look to him and for him, he's always there. He's always there. He was a stone's throw away outside of that boat when he called out the courage to those disciples and then he calmed the wind. Then he stopped the storm. But he asks you to trust. He asks you to believe He asks you to look for him and to keep looking to him and for him all the days of our life, even when the storms are raging, even when the sea is unbalanced, and even when everything seems like it's in chaos, every, even when the world is against us, even when everything seems like it's in an uproar, even when pain has settled in, even when fear is reared its ugly head once again in our life, can we trust God? Can we look to him? Can we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that he is here, that he's always been here, that he's never left us? He is always here with us. All we have to do is believe. All we have to do is believe when we look around the room, find out where he's standing, and then go stand where he's standing. Because I can guarantee he is not standing in fear. He is not standing in pain. He is not standing in a place of suffering. He is standing 
in a place of victory. And you and I have every reason to believe that we have the ability to stand with him in victory as well. Friend, if you have liked this video, would you, would you give it a huge thumbs up? Would you subscribe to this channel? Hit that notification bell to be notified for every time that I upload content just like this one. I love you, friend. I am praying for you. My heart aches when your heart aches because my heart breaks for the same things that break your heart. But can we together, can we believe that God is still in control, that he loves us, that he's there with us, and that he is calming even the raging sea as it is raging. He is calming our hearts to trust him more in this season of our life. Friend, I love you. I pray for you all of the time. And until my next video, I pray that you have an awesome day with Jesus. Bye, friend.